Hey, what's up, guys? Happy Friday. It's me, Mr. Joshua, with another Gundam MSA review. And this Friday afternoon, before I head off to work, because I've got work early, I would like to show you guys custom Battle Scarred, re Battle Scarred Zaku 2s version 1.0s. And uh, first of all, these guys are not mine. These are Josh McAnomies he sent to me. They were pre Battle Scarred. And, uh, you know, first of all, this dude right here is my favorite of all the Zakis that he sent to me, the Battle Scar and such. I like this dude a lot because, you know, Josh and Ganami put a lot of, you know, custom work into it. He tore apart a, uh, a Gundam wing, a, a, a wing zero custom from Endless Waltz, took the kneecap and took the, uh, fucked up arm and basically, basically incorporated that into the figure itself. And when I first got my hands on this figure, you know, I was inspecting it because I was trying to figure out what am I going to do with this guy. And it totally caught me off guard. I thought that they, that it was a legit battle scarred Zaku that he got from, you know, Bandai or Toys R Us or whatever, you know. It totally caught me off guard. I, I thought it was a real thing for a minute. And I was like, no way, this can't be a real Zaku 2 battle scarred. Holy shit, maybe it is. But then about a minute or so after, I, I finally realized that he tore apart, you know, a, a, a leg and arm to do this and... It's really fucking awesome. It really is. I really like it. It's pretty legit, if I do say so myself. And so we're going to start off with... Uh, no, let, let, let's start off with this dude right here. When I first saw this dude, I actually saw him in one of Josh Shukunami's videos. And um, I'm pretty sure he had him on a, uh, a flatbed truck. And I got the inspiration to do this bow scar from the 83 the episode where um, one of the ground type Gundams had like a beam rifle and you know shot the Zaku's arm off and stuff and I wanted to, I wanted it to look like he got shot in the chest by the uh, by the uh, beam cannon well beam rifle and you know miraculously survived and it looks pretty cool you know I, I really like it. he's got some bullet holes fucked up kneecap. This one isn't as bad, but it's still messed up. And then, um, I made the feet a little screwed up too, like he's been, you know, walking for a while. Again, sorry about my camera, I just, you know, it's kind of hard trying to do a, a manual focus with one hand and holding the figure with the other. I can't really do much of anything. And then, uh, oh, here's, here we go. Here's the uh, screwed up. You know, shield and made it look as messed up as possible, just gruddy and disgusting. And it's not done being painted. This figure is about 90% complete. Fuck. 90% complete. No, let's just do it like this. It's better. Yeah. And then he's got a gash mark in the back, some more bullet holes, a mild explosion mark right there. And his face. When I first got this, you know, it was, it was the uh, the cables on his face were just completely, you know, annihilated. So I wanted to look like he was hit by an explosion right there. So actually, some really good detail, you know, really good detail. And Josh Shogandami actually uh, caught this dude on fire. It looked like yeah, he took a lighter to it, and which was a completely different effect, you know. I mean. Just by looking at him, it looks like he he might have been caught in a firefight and uh, in, in outer space, and he got caught up in Earth's gravitational pull and just got pulled in and got burnt to smithereens and whatnot. But I want I want him to look like like he could be salvaged, like he's still you know able to work. Like yeah, the, the sag is able to work, but you know the most he can probably do is use a heat hawk and be you know finished, you know. So I, I wanted him to be in kind of the middle of being salvaged and being able to work just one last time, like a mild work, you know. And then this cool dude right here, he's about 90% complete. The Dallas Guard and him is complete. I just need to, uh, you know, fill in some paint marks and whatnot. And this dude right here, Josh Gadami, it looked like he pre-weathered it with a uh, silver lining, and it looks pretty cool. It looks like he's been scratched all the hell. You know, I, I really like that. 
And so what I did with this, and well, yeah, the other thing I like about this dude, he looks like a real type Zaku. You know, this is what, in my opinion, is what a real type Zaku would look like. Like, like, a, like a darker green. I, I really liked it. I, I really do. It's awesome. But, um, now with him, I just gave him more of a mild battle scar look to him. You know, like he's still able to fight and go strong. And he's got some bullet holes in his chest. He's got three of them. I'm currently working on the uh, shield right here. I cut off this part right here. One of the, uh, whatever it is, one, one of the uh, spikes I cut off. And uh, I scratched up a little bit of the skirt. Another bullet hole. Let's see. Some more scratch marks on his kneecap. This dude right here. And I touched up on his arm a little bit. I noticed that he kind of did like a battle scar on that side. Just gave a little more detail. And uh, back here. Like I said, I wanted him to look more of a mild battle scar, and here I give him some more roller holes. I really like this right here. I think this is a holder for uh, the machine gun. I'm not really too sure, but I, I really like what he did right there. You know, he just took a burning gun, um, uh, things a skirt, and just cut off a piece so that holds the uh, beam saber and tossed it in there. But um, and with this dude right here, I, I wanted him to look like he was still able to fight and go strong, you know. And this dude's kind of, uh, I'm fucked, you know, type thing. But um, this is a really fun project that I've been doing over the past month and a half now. And uh, I'm really excited, you know. And as of right now, I'm working on a third Zaku for Josh Ogandamu. And I'm working on, that. I'm actually working on three of them. I'm working on his Dom, his Goof. And the Zaku too, as we speak. The Zach, the uh, goof is almost complete. He just needs some more weathering, and he should be fine. But um, anyways, stay tuned for some more Gundam MSC reviews, and thanks for watching. Happy Friday.